Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Sable. I have just been driving around the Badlands trying to find the final ancient race site and here it is. I found it. So let's see if we can... Uh... Oop, I am crashing really bad. Where's the start of the track? It looks like... It could be up here. Hopefully this is the last what in the name? <laughs> Holy frame rates. <laughs> I swear this game is slowly running worse the more I play it, but I'm, it's fine. Look, we're almost there. There's this quest, and then I think we're done. Assuming that I don't, like, you know, hand in the final quest, and then it goes, here's the rest of the game. Which would be very funny, and it wouldn't be the first time I've experienced such a thing. Oh yeah, it's all that other stuff you were doing. That was just the tutorial. Hmm. You know, this one might be... This is a long one, blimey. Oh no, good. We did it. There was enough time. I was like, that seemed like that was a really long distance between the rings. I think this is the last one. If not, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I think there's six overall and I have five, right? I could have a look. I looked at the end of the last episode, but I don't remember. I think that was the conclusion I came to. And then I have to go to a place that I marked in my last episode to kind of hand them in, sort of like the whale. Except less obvious, because somehow I just missed the entire place. Uh-oh. Oh no, I crashed. Have I mentioned how much I do not like the Badlands? I think I have at least, at least three times now. Oh my god. He just launched me off the bike. There it is. The Hikaric Ring artifact. I, st I don't know what this is going to do. Let me just check I've got all six. Six. Yes. Right. Let's, uh... Oh, isn't the other bit that I'm looking for also in the Badlands? Oh, no. Isn't it like... Oh, it is. Okay, well... Wait, which which one of these markers is it? Oh, why do I have two markers? What's the other marker for? You know, annoyingly, I don't even see another marker on the map. Oh, there it is. There we go. Just the one marker. Let's go find out what we are looking for. Oof. I think gravity works different in the Badlands. I'm convinced. <laughs> it's how the rocks got this tool. Should. I'm hoping it's in a relatively obvious place. That's what I'd point out. I still haven't found a reason to use the insects and things, so I'm guessing they are literally just so you can sell them and buy things. Up here, up here, up here, yeah, there we go. Alright, it's right in front of me apparently. Is that a box up on top of that cliff? God damn it, can I climb up this? Hang on. How tall is this? This is very tall, right? But I do have big... Um, okay. I do have big stamina bar now, maybe, maybe it's enough. Hmm, I'm starting to think maybe not. Hmm. Well. <laughs> oh. Damn blast. Would have been nice to see what's up there, but... I'm not sure it's worth me wasting loads of time trying to get up there. Gotta be somewhere up there though, if there's a box up there, surely. I think it's in this cavern, right? What we're looking for, I mean. Yeah, apparently so. Behind this rock, maybe. Maybe I have to climb this. Looks like this is going to be easier to climb. I haven't lost my bike. 
He's right behind me. I mean, I've lost my bike many times before. But we don't talk about those times. Alright. Maybe if I jump up here... This bit's where it's going to get a little bit sketchy. I'm guessing we want to climb up this bit here. We're probably not even meant to climb. There's probably a door. Remember last time when I was trying to find the chum layer and I somehow just managed to miss the door? It's going to be one of those moments, isn't it? Oh. Something tells me this is too tall. Let's go check around the other side. Maybe that's more climbable? I don't know. It's a little bit of a bummer. You lose a quarter of your climbing bar when you first attach yourself to the wall. Oh, I think we should be able to make it up here. Please don't make that be famous last words. No, we... Yep, yeah, yeah, we're almost there. Hold on, Sable. You can make it. You... Oh, that was... That was way too close. Didn't like that. Alright. Still haven't found what we're looking for. Possibly because I put whatever marker I put in just the wrong place, which is, you know... Seems like something I'd do. Is it over here? Ooh! I'm guessing it's that. Oh, look, there it is, the rings. Oh, sweet. Okay, we found it. What's that over there? I'm assuming it's a plant, but it's a plant that I don't recognize. Hello, plant. No, can't climb you. Okay, never mind. Oh, 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 bloody hell. Don't get stuck. Well, right, let's go check out what's down here. I'm actually excited for this. I feel like this is... I've been waiting for this for such a long time. Hi. Somebody live here? Somebody here? No? Can I steal this truck? It's a very nice truck. It's like a boat. It's like a weird mixture between a, bu a, a truck and a boat. Oh no, there's a somebody. Let's go speak, see if we can speak to them. Probably would look nicer if the sun was down here, huh? A mysterious shrine. Hello, friend. Every time I meet another machinist, my mind wanders back to Caesar. I wonder if she's hearing of my travels, though whatever through whatever network connects their guild. I wonder if she's proud. I think of her now, as I greet this stranger. Oh, I love meeting gliders. Come here, come here. What's your name? I approach and tell her I'm Sable. Sable! Sounds a lot like table. You get that a lot? Uh, constantly. Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> I tell her I don't get that a lot. Well, you're on your gliding. More people you meet, the more I'll say it to you. Um, I don't want to be that person. But I'm right near the end of my gliding, and you're the first person who said it. I suppose she's potentially right. And I'm fur. Sounds like fear, doesn't it? Sounds like peer, too. She looks thoughtful. I mean, I guess. Anyway, I didn't call you over to talk rhymes. I called you over to show you something. You are going to love. I'm pretty deep into historical stuff. Ruins, old-timey ships... The old books. All the old monumentalist leftovers. Monumentalists? You know. I nod. Well, recently, I've deciphered a few monumentalist texts, which point to some sort of synergistic structures positioned all across the world in all different deserts. What do you mean, synergistic? I mean that the te texts suggest they're responsive. More than simply statues or slabs of rock or whatever their form, the texts suggest they record data or somehow interact with people. But I think it's something else, something way more fun. 
I ask what she thinks they are. I think they're a game. See, we have this thing, everybody does, where we look to the past and we assume they were all work and no play, because all we see, all that persists, is their labour. Chips and logs and tools and things. But fun funds ephemeral. Jokes disappear, doodles get lost while art survives. So we lose it all and we go on assuming they never had any. So if you've got the time and the inclination, Glider, I'd recommend you keep your eyes open for monumentalist architecture that seems suspicious or strange and responsive somehow. I'd say a glider on a bike's the perfect person to test my theory, if you're up for it. Sounds fun. Good, thank you. I'll try to keep deciphering my records. Report back what you find, please. And if you sort out the game, I hope you enjoy it. I tell her I will. Great. Thanks, table. And good luck, goddammit. What do you mean, thanks, table? <laughs> what a bastard. And I assume we put the rings in here. There looks like there's more than six. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> I thought these columns at the front were also tables, but no, there is six. The ring-shaped artifact I found looks like it would fit in the pedestal. Insert the ring. Huh? Wait, I get a reward for each one? Maybe? No, no, I think that's just you've done this, this particular part. Right, let's keep going. It's a door. So it's like... A helmet? Or like a scarab or something? That looks like a sail. I should speak to the machinist of the mysterious shrine. I have done of you a as you asked. Where's he gone? Uh, fear. Ah, oh, there you are. <laughs> Let's wait for him to get to the top of the stairs. We don't need to have a conversation on the stairs. You're a lifesaver, Sable. That's all the inscriptions. The first two suggest they might be instructions to build something, I think. But the third part seems to be where all the good stuff is. I ask what she means by good stuff. The why and what of it all. Why are we building this, and what are we building? I suspect that this is a bit of a treasure hunt, and you're meant to make your own prize. In which case, part of the game is solving the third clue. Uh-oh. So I think your work is done for now, and mine begins. Give me a few days, Sable. I reckon I can crack this soon. I tell Fur I'm keen to see what she comes up with, and we say goodbye for now. Wait. Give her a few days. Well, at least that means I don't have to do anything. Um, how do you pass time in Sable? Uh oh. Um. I don't think I can. Wait, can I fast travel? Does that make time go forward? Uh, because I think. I remember seeing something about the Entertainer's, ma Entertainer's Mask in Ecria. So I'm going to go walk around Ecria for the 500th time while the while time passes. And see if I can find something. Or I suppose I could save myself the effort and just kind of look it up. Because if I haven't found it at this point, I'm probably... Just where to start it. Entertainer's Mask, Sable. Uh, the three entertainment badges are given in quests from NPCs in Ecria. Yeah, there we go. Kid on the Docks. Where are the docks? <laughs> okay, uh, let's go try and find the docks. I assume they're near the water, right? It might be easier to find that from the outside. I never did buy the ninja suit, did I? Do I have to do that from here? I'm gonna I'm gonna buy that just because I can. You know, while I'm here. We're kind of just waiting for time to pass. Oh, do I have to wait for night time for this this to work? Hmm. Of 
Because it sure as hell ain't doing anything right now. Let's go see if we can find the docks when it's night time. We'll come back. I think, like, the sun is setting. I would like to see the end of the quest in this episode, so... What's that noise? You know, there's the well. You can see the magpie well from here. I'm, I'm a little bit upset. I didn't find that on my own as well. And the five bells camp. A lot of this was just making sure that you actually looked around and explored. When I came to Ecria, I was so focused on doing the quest in Ecria that I... Uh, I didn't actually look around very much. These look like docks. I don't remember seeing a child. I still think there's stuff hidden here as well. Like, there's the guard set is around here somewhere. Because I found, like, one part of the guard set and that was it. Hello, is there a child around here somewhere? Oh. Is it you? Hi there. As we make eye contact, I find myself waved over. A small, slightly scratchy voice emerges from the mask. I like your bike. What bike? I saw you riding into town. I see lots of things every day. I envy them. With that seeing things could be a day's work. Can you also hover? I'm a glider, aren't I? I wish I could do that. Child sighs and looks wistfully off. Patience, your time will come. I think on how excited I once was to learn all of this, to open myself to, to the perpetual, and how, when the gift of the gliding finally came, it was at the cost of a goodbye that was so difficult to make. I know I'll do it someday, but that's in forever. I need it now. I look down at them. I know that if, if I were so young, I would be thrilled at the opportunity to meet a stranger with a bike. Endless freedom and the ability to move in new and exciting ways, inaccessible to me. I ask them why they're so intent on doing it now. Because I want to go over there, across the oasis, and I can't. I ask why. Because I saw a big, beautiful, perfect, lovely flower right in the middle of it, on a big rock. And I want it so, so, so much. Oh, maybe you could put me on your back. Uh, I'm worried I'd drop you. I decline, hitting the sag in their shoulders, and explain that while I can't allow them to ride with me, I'd be more than happy to get this flower. A glee is returned. Really? Thank you, thank you. Bring it right back here. See you later, glider. I just realized I left my... I couldn't see my recording software then for a second. That was a bit weird. Uh, there we go. So how are we getting up there then? Bloody hell. I guess we're climbing the... Ruins? I guess they're ruins. Luckily, my large stamina bar should make this considerably easier than it did before. I wonder if I should climb that one first and jump over, but nah, it's going to be a pain, isn't it? I think I need to... No, I know what I need to do. I need to climb up on this island here and then jump to this flat bit and climb up from there. Otherwise, it's going to be a pain. So, oh. Well, that failed miserably, didn't it? <laughs> Good job. Let's just see if we can climb up, huh? We'll just brute force it with our huge stamina bar. It's this lip where things are going to get interesting. 
Yeah, I kind of figured this was going to happen. Oh, 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 perfect. And let's jump over there. Oasis flower. Perfect. That is, that is Tige, or however you say his name. Hi there. I approach with the saunter of the one used to heroism. My new friend bounces up and down, little fists pushed together over their chest. That was amazing! You're such a good hoverer! I hand the flower over to an excited grasp and grasping gasp and grasping hands. As they tuck it delicately away, stem first, they tell me they're going to dry it and keep it forever in a book they've started with their best, best friend who lives nearby. They have nearly 50 flowers now and are splitting the book in two so that they might keep one half in each of their homes. This particular flower, they say, will go to their friend. He has looked at it many times and wished for it. And now that wish may be granted because a stranger came their way. I tell them that it was a pleasure and they give me an unexpected hug about the waist. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is the best. They aren't wrong. They dig around in their pocket for a moment and pull something out. I expect it to be a little bug or some dirt or possibly an old toy, but instead they produce an entertainer's badge. Yeah, you're really nice, so you can have this. I ask if they wouldn't prefer to hang on to it. There's plenty of use for such things. Later, I get a shake of the head. I think this one's for you. I'll get my own one one day. I tell them I'm sure they will and leave with a wave. See you later, Glider. Amazing. Now, there's more There's more of these, I guess. There's another two quests, and I'm pretty sure they're all in Ecria, and I've got absolutely no idea where they are, so bear with me a second. Uh... Oh, Christ. Oh, wow, one of the... One of them isn't in Ecria. Okay, so where are these children? Where, where's the first one? If I zoom right in, oh my, this isn't going to help, is it? I'll try and find these kids. I know what they look like, and they, they have the speech bubble above their head. Is it you? Any cuts to spare? Anything would appear appreciated, Glider. There you go. You know where any kids are looking to play hide and seek? Hmm. Rather annoying. They could be literally anywhere. Ecria is a rather large place. This is kind of how I missed it in the first place. Maybe I should try and find a descriptive location. There's like a location where they are on the map, but uh, the map looks different on my map, so... Surely, how hard can it be to find a couple of kids? Oh, you're the beggar again. You still want more money? You? Erica and Finn. Imagine what would have happened if the power had stayed off much longer. I think I would have had to leave town. No, it's not you. Kids? 
The huddled children giggle as I approach. The way children do. I'm never quite sure whether they are entertained, nervous or mocking. I decide not to let myself feel judged. You're a glider. Yes, indeed. They get excited at this and make small sounds amongst themselves. I found gliders thrilling too when I was a child. But somehow I feel slightly like an imposter and a little bit proud. You want to play a game with us? Sure. Yay, the game's hide and seek. Do you know it? Uh, I played it quite a bit. I tell them I used to play with a young friend of mine back home. They don't seem particularly interested in the story. Never felt so old. Good, you're it. We'll go hide and you have to find us. I tell them to wait. Once I, the great worldly wise glider, cunningly track them down. How can I call them out if I don't know their names? Yeah, don't be so sure you'll find us. This is our town, remember? Anyway, I'm Pala. I'm Jeff. And I'm Nez. I tell them my own name. And Pala points at me. Are you ready, Sable? You have to close your eyes and count to 100. No peeking and no skipping. And count slowly. It's a very high number. I close my eyes and I start counting. 1, 2, 3... 57, 58, 97, 98, 99, 100. Oh no. I don't suppose, I don't suppose you're going to give me, no, no, glide and seek. Okay. Well. This. This is going to drive me nuts, isn't it? I've never been a fan. Of, oh, hello. Oh, you found me. Are you sure you counted all the way to 100? Well, that was one of them. <laughs> uh, if they're all that easy, maybe it won't be that bad. Oh, hello. There's 20 cuts. Maybe they won't have climbed up. All right, we're going to work on the assumption that the kids haven't climbed up anywhere and they've just walked. Because... If the kids... Then again, it's called... Glide and seek? Kind of makes me think I'm supposed to be gliding around? I don't know. Is there a kid inside the market? Are any of you hiding a child? This is... A, I'm, I'm going to check up here, but I severely doubt that a kid would, have hid, would be hiding up here, but... If I don't check, you all know how it goes. If I don't check, it will be up here and it will be embarrassing. Oh, okay. I mean, you're a child, but I don't think you're a child I'm looking for. <laughs> uh... Okay, so they're not here. Maybe, they're... Maybe I should go up on the roofs? Such a big place. So many places they could hide. <laughs> <laughs> where, where are you, you little bastards? Hiding down on the pier? No. Dock, I suppose, not a pier. It's going to be more embarrassing if... I don't see them, but someone who's watching the video sees them and I walk straight past them. It's, it does seem like the sort of thing that would happen, but I am trying. I found the first one too quick, that's what's happened here. Wait, are you one of them? Oh wait, no, you're the kid I found already, god damn it. God damn it. <laughs> I've, done, I've walked around in a bloody circle, haven't I? Good lord. Again. Just make sure he's not down in the courtyard. I wonder if one of them would be... 
hiding out here. It's a bloody good place to hide, isn't it? No? No? No, okay, never mind. Maybe I'll try and make heads and tails of this map so that's uh, on my other screen. But I don't actually know which one I found. Because it just says child one, child two, child three. And normally I'd, all, I'd be all for walking around this city like a nutter trying to find out uh, where people were. But uh, oh, apparently one's like down here. Good lord. But in the city down there? Let's climb up on the roofs. It'll make this easier to get around the city. This is where I find out he's on the bloody roof. <laughs> oh, I thought that was one I hadn't uh, looted, but no, I had looted that. Isn't that a shame? Are you one of the kids? No. Uh, this is looking more and more unlikely. This is where they are. <laughs> Maybe they're down in this room. Well, wait, no, that's where. Okay, damn it, that's where I found the kid, isn't it? God damn it. Okay, the other one's like maybe here oh god it's no it's not wanting me to not be on ecria no no oh god this is annoying please all right he's gonna use my mouse or something no this is insanely annoying i'll put it in that general direction Hopefully a few days will have passed by the time we get there. And I can finish the episode with me trying to uh, talk to the machinist. If not, there'll be like one more episode where I do the final uh, the final quest. And maybe the uh, the third one of the entertainer badge quests that I somehow managed to miss. Again, I... I'm kind of happy I found I found most of the things in this game, considering nothing's like super obvious. I think I did quite a good job. Maybe. Wait, didn't I check over here? Isn't that the market? Hmm. I think it's around here somewhere? Of course, around here somewhere doesn't really narrow it down that much, does it? Not you, it's not you. He's not going to be on the bridge. Could he be under the bridge? Behind these boxes? No. Oh my god, that light turned on when I walked up here and it made me jump. <laughs> I was like, did I stand on a button and turn the light on? Dun dun dun. Hmm. Maybe he is up on the roof. Oh my god, is this how I'm going to be spending my, this entire episode? Me just walking around looking for kids? This is, this is why I don't like children. This exact situation. They're too smart. I'm being outwitted. Of course, there's a small chance they're under the city, I guess. I doubt they'd be up here, like getting up here. Seems pretty lethal for a child, doesn't it? Where am I on the map right now? Apparently one of them is like right north of the uh, the symbol for Ecria. 
Not that that helps. But bearing in mind, I'm trying to find two children and I can't even find one of them. And, and what's even worse is I'm cheating and I still can't find them. How embarrassing is that? I'm being outsmarted by children and I know where they are. <laughs> I, I, well, I, I kind of know where they are, right. Um, yeah, okay, so it's like north here? Around here somewhere? Ah-ha-ha-ha! You one of them? Ah, you did find me! Okay, okay, we got one left. One left. And it's annoyingly the one I've been trying to find for most of the time. Where is that little bugger? It's the one with the fuzzy hair as well. He should stand out like a sore thumb. Where is he? Where are you? Jeff? <laughs> Where? Alright, we're going down here. I'm going to do this the old-fashioned way. I'm going to slowly walk towards where... Oh, hell no, this is way off the mark. Okay, it needs to be like down here. Look, have, you, have you seen any children? See, I totally feel like it's supposed to be like here, where this guy's standing. But, well, there's no kid here, so it obviously isn't. Can I go under here? Are you in the water? Something tells me you're not in the water. No, okay. Well, if you are, I can't see you. <clears throat> I wish I could put a marker roughly where... Oh, is that? Is that it? Maybe? Oh, there you are, you little bastard. God damn it. I thought this was a really good hiding spot. The smart for a grown-up. No, mate, I'm not. <laughs> I take the compliment. You found the others first? Yes, that means I win. <clears throat> Excuse me. I found you all. Doesn't that mean I win? Hmm. No, I don't think so. I definitely win. Anyway, you're pretty fun for a grown-up, so you can have this badge. You need three of these, then you can wear the entertainer's mask. I thank them for the game and the badge, and say goodbye. As I leave, I feel a small pang in my heart. I miss Saima and the rest of the clan. I wonder what she'd think of me taking up the entertainer's mask. So there's one left, but I think I am running out of time in the episode here. So I'm going to go back to the the man with the bike. I cannot believe I spent like half an hour walking around Ecria trying to find kids. Uh, where is he? He's down here, right? Way the Kemble Q. Wait, did it not give me a location? Can it be? I oh, a yeah, mysterious shrine. Here we go. Let's go see. <coughs> Fear? <laughs> Where are you? This is where they're like, no, no, not done yet. Oh, God damn it! where are you? You down by your truck? Oh, you are down by your truck. I'm still working on this. Come back soon. Damn it. Okay, well, I will end this episode here then. I am going to thank you very much for watching. 
Please like, subscribe, let me know what you think. And in the next episode, uh, we will finish the Entertainer's Mask and we will probably finish the game. Hopefully. Don't hold me to that. You never know. I might find something else. This game has a habit of doing that. But either way, thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated. And as always, I'll see you next time.